Danielle. Welcome to this week's episode of Dear Simpler. Today, I got a question about the ticks. Now, the ticks the trader in question is referring to are the dollar sign ticks or the NYSE ticks. The question that our trader wanted answered was, is this still a valid indicator? They saw it in Mastering the Trade. So there's a couple things about the dollar sign ticks. Uh, yes, absolutely, it's still valid. We use it every single day, but we don't really consider it an indicator. It's more of a market internal. What the dollar sign ticks do is they show you the buying and selling pressure in the market. So they're really important on an intraday basis. They're only gonna be valid and working when the market's open, but especially at market open, market close, and any time that we're seeing significant buying or selling, it's a great way to tell what's actually going on on the inside of the market. That's why it's called an internal. So how can you learn more about them? Well, absolutely, John's book, Mastering the Trade, is going to be the best place to get an in-depth discussion of that. We're also gonna look at our charts here in just a minute and I'll give you a basic overview. But the key part to remember here is that the ticks, I mean, they're not an indicator that you can add to a chart for a specific ticker. They're gonna tell you overall what the market's doing. So let's go ahead and flip to our charts and we'll dive in. All right, so now going over to the charts, you can see that this is my intraday futures grid. So why do I look at futures? Well, I look at futures because, I mean, that's really the best way that you're going to be able to see what's happening in the market moment by moment. They're going to move the quickest, and they're also going to move overnight. So um, if you can really check out what's going on in the futures markets, even if you don't care about trading futures, uh, I think it's really important. So what is up here? These are going to be the dollar sign ticks or uh, ticks as we call them. And I like to keep this on a three minute chart uh, just so you can, I don't know, I think the smaller time frame just helps you see what's going on a little bit better. And, um, you know, as you can see, I have them in different colors so that you can see if they're going up or if they're going down. Now, the most critical point about the ticks are going to be where they're populating. So here's the zero line. Uh, as you can see, the price movement really goes back and forth across the zero line. But honestly, pretty much everything within that range is pretty noisy. What we really care about is once we get buying pressure above plus 600 or selling pressure below negative 600. So everything really in the middle here is just kind of noisy. So if you notice um, throughout the day when you're trading, you see whatever you're trading start to fall. What you can do is you can come and look at the ticks. And typically what you're going to see um, in an instance when the market is falling is you're going to see some severe negative tick readings. That's going to be between negative 600 and negative 1,000 with 1,000 typically being about the, the point where it lets up a little bit. So what you want to do is if the market's selling off, come over to your ticks and say, hey, am I getting significant selling or not? Um, generally, when you're getting significant selling, you're going to see these um, bars populating multiple times in a row. So that covered a span of about three, six, nine, 12, 15 minutes of negative tick readings. And that's typically something that's gonna push the market lower. So if we look at what time that occurred at, that was between 9.30 and 9.45. So we can go over to our uh, futures chart and say, okay, well, what was happening during that time? And do you see, that between 9.30 and about 9.45 or 10 o'clock, the market was trading lower. Now, what's interesting here is what happened after we got the largest negative tick reading on the day. So the most significant reading was negative 1,117, and that came in right at 9.45. So what happened with price action at 9.45? Well, you'll notice that at 9.45, that is exactly where we had the low on the day. So a lot of the times John will say, 
you know, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, it doesn't really matter what the ticks are doing right now. It, you know, in that negative moment, if it goes to negative a thousand, what matters is what happens right after that. So if it goes to negative a thousand, but then the selling pressure stays constant at negative 600, negative thousand, that's typically when the market will just fall out of bed. Okay. But what happens when it hits negative a thousand, then it immediately bounces higher. That's generally where you're seeing a low. So it'll give you a good idea of, Hey, is the low in play or not? So if you look at the ticks right here, you have the low of negative 1,117. And then what happens right after that? You get some positive tick readings. It crosses a zero line and then you actually get plus 600 tick readings. And our tick readings are climbing higher instead of falling out of bed. So what does that tell a trader? Well, it tells a trader that there's a low in play. So, you know, a lot of people, they'll they wake up, market's selling off. They're like, oh God, it's terrible. We're falling out of bed here. Okay, but if you look at the ticks, the ticks can give you a clue. And as you can see, the ticks today told us that's where the low is in play. We started getting some buying coming in. And boom, boom, boom. And then you start to get kind of toppy between 11.30 and let's call it one o'clock, okay? 11.30 and one o'clock, you're trading sideways and nothing's happen, happening. So what can you make of the ticks? Let's come back over here. 11.30, 11.30 to one o'clock, okay? Now remember what I said earlier, between plus 600 and negative 600 are really noisy. There's not too much going on. Uh, you can also see that the high tick readings were the highs on the day. And then after that, we didn't get significant selling, but it just went back into the noisy level. So if you look at price action and say, hey, well, what do I make of this? Between um, 1130 and one o'clock, the price action was trading sideways. Well, that's because you really had equal buying and selling pressure. It was really just within a noisy range. Nothing was really happening. But then around one o'clock, you start to see some more negative tick readings. So these negative tick readings are showing us more sellings happening than buying. And we start to trade a little bit lower in the S&Ps. So really what you got to do is you just got to sit here and you need to watch it and you need to examine the price action in combination with the ticks like I just did and do that every day. And then after a while, you'll get a really good feel of the market because you'll start to realize when a shift is coming into play or when it's getting toppy because there's just not any buying to push us through those highs on the day. It's really just noisy price action. And then when you start to see some negative ticks, you'll say, okay, well now we're starting to pull back a little bit from the highs. So that's just a couple examples um, from the tick readings. You can go through every single day and you can say, all right, well, what was happening yesterday? And you can go back in time and look at it. Uh, just go to a chart and see what was going on. I mean, if I scroll back to my ticks from yesterday, do, do, do. Oh, you know what? Actually, I have to change my time frame on here. Let's do five day chart. So let's scroll back to yesterday. This is going to be between this time frame right here. You can see that yesterday we had a lot of buying in the market and also we had quite a few tick readings between plus 600 and plus 1000. So you can see that that's kind of um, consistent buying coming through. Yeah, you did have some sells, but not too many. This is all noisy, remember? And you only had three negative tick readings on the day, really significant negative tick readings. So a day like that, that's a day where the market's continuing to climb higher. So, you know, just go through, go back in time. This is not a paid indicator. All you got to do is type in dollar sign tick in uh, thinkorswim. And then these lines right here are, I just drew those in there. So if you just add those lines, um, just gives you a better idea of what's going on. Some people also like to right click and create alerts uh, up at these levels to tell you if you're getting some negative, extreme negatives or extreme positives on the day. 
Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's really how I like to do it. So it, it's pretty simple. Um, it's just one of those things that just takes time to learn. All right. So hopefully you enjoyed that overview on the ticks. Basically at the end of the day, what it is, is it's just a way for you to gauge market buying and selling pressure. For me personally, once I started using them and watching them every day, it gave me much better background information about what was happening in the market. And it also helps you with your intuitive choices. So really what you should do is you should just start using them and see how it goes. Have another question for me? Make sure you go to your foundation dashboard and go to Dear Simpler. Submit your question there and I might answer it in the next video. Thanks and good trading.